Task 7 about wire length. We have a copper wire and here not the resist resistivity but the conductivity is given. Yesterday in the, in the lecture we discussed resistivity. This is the, the reciprocal value in Siemens per meter. And this is wound to some coil or to a reel. And you, you want to know the, the, the wire length on the reel but you don't want to unwound it. Um, so your idea is, okay, I measure the resistance of this wire, like I did yesterday, remember? And you know the cross-section area because this is somewhere printed on the reel. And now the question is, how long is the wire? So how would you calculate this? What formula do you need or can we use that we also discussed yesterday in the lecture that somehow includes um, resistance, cross-sectional area, maybe conductivity or resistivity and um, length of the wire. Resistance is equal to the conductivity times the length over area. Yeah, so Resistance should be proportional to the length. The longer that we have, uh, that the wire is, the, sh the higher should be resistance. It's inverse or proportional to the area. So the larger the area, the smaller the resistance. And so this conductivity, um, and I would call this here um, with small Greek letter kappa. Um, do I need to write it? in the numerator or in the denominator of this fraction? In the denominator, because otherwise it also would not make sense uh, with respect to the units, because this one here is in Siemens per meter. So we have Siemens here, um, and one over Siemens at the end gives us ohm, and the meter will cancel with length and cross-section area. So this kappa here, is um, is the same as one over uh, the row that we had yesterday, um, which was the so this this is the row. This was the resistivity. So here we now have conductivity. Okay, so we more or less have all the values. We can rearrange this equation to the lengths. Um, what do we get then as a new formula to calculate the lengths? times area, just the product of these three quantities. And so then we can insert them and say we have 5.747 ohm. Um, we have this 58 times 10 to the power of 6 Siemens per meter. Oops. <coughs> and we have cross-sectional area of 0 0.75 square millimeter. And we see it would be better, but would be probably beneficial if we convert the square millimeter into square meter, um, because then we can cancel them with the meter over here. Or, yeah, okay, yeah, th th this, this would be probably a good idea. Um, or we could also convert the meter into millimeter. It's, it's maybe easier. So what, what do you suggest or what? How, how many, um, if, how, how do I convert square millimeter into square meter? Uh, 10 to the power of minus six. Exactly, 10 to the power of minus six square meter, because millimeter, uh, one meter is 10 to the power of three millimeter. And so if we have this squared, then 10 to the power of three will turn into 10 to the power of six. And I think this is here more convenient because the 10 to the power of minus six and 10 to the power of six will cancel each other. Ohm and Siemens will cancel each other and meter and meter square will cancel each other. So we are just left with meter. And the remaining things you can just insert into a calculator, or of course you could also use something like Octave to do this. So 
um, if we say the resistance is 5.747, the conductivity is 58E6, and the cross-sectional area is 0 0.75, 10 to the power of minus 6, then we can just take the product of all these values and we end up with a length of 250 meters which might make sense um, as we discussed two weeks ago um, before calculating the answer we should have maybe taken a lucky guess what, what could be a meaningful answer but something in this range might make sense, a couple of 10 to a couple of 100 meters. If we would calculate uh, just some centimeters or millimeters, would be probably not so meaningful because you, if you have just some centimeters of wire, it will not, be, uh, will not be wound onto a reel. And if you have several kilometers or even more, then it would be a very large and very heavy reel. And then you ought, might also get um, some more resistance than this one. So this um, cross-section area, 0.75 square millimeter, would be yeah, a, a not too thin cable that you could at least use to power some lamp or, or something like this. It's, um, you can, you can um, feed some, at least some amperes over this current, uh, over this, of, of current over this wire without problems. Okay, questions related to this task? If we would do it the other way around, um, so if I, so we, we end up here with 250 meters. I will add this in a second. So if we would do it the other way, no, maybe I will write it down directly. So 250 meters is what we get. So if we would say, okay, we take the 5.747 ohm for the resistance, we take the 58 times 10 to the power of six Siemens per meter for the conductivity. And if we take the 0 0.75, square millimeter for the area and if we now would say okay a meter as we've written down here a meter is the same as 10 to the power of 3 square millimeter then still this and this would cancel each other um, the square and the millimeter will cancel each other and 10 to the power of 6 divided by 10 to the power of 3 will give us 10 to the power of 3 and then you might say, oh, now I have different values for the numbers because I have, ten to I have <coughs> three more, 10 to the power of three more that will not cancel, but I also get millimeters at the end. So what we will get now is uh, our, our old values were 250. Then we still have the 10 to the power of three left and we have millimeter as the unit. And Ten to the power of three millimeter once again is one meter. So at the end you get the very same result in this case. 